Just a quick video today to talk about truthy and falsy in JavaScript. So I've talked previously about booleans, just one of the basic data types in JavaScript. Things can be set to true or false, kind of a yes, no, one or zero. There are seven values in JavaScript that can be interpreted as falsy. So they're not necessarily false, but they're false-like false-ish, boolean-ish, they will be interpreted. If you write an if statement, if you write um, a condition for a while loop, if you're using a ternary operator. So anytime you're asking the computer to evaluate an expression and get the answer to that expression as a yes or no answer, we're talking about truthy and falsy. We can use true and false in an if statement. So if I were to write if true else, this portion right here, the if block, will always run because we're asking if true is true. And well, it will always be true. It's the same thing as if I wrote true with two or with three equal signs. We're comparing these two things. Is true the same as true? Yes. So this is just kind of an abbreviated version of that. If I wrote if false, this would never run because this answer can never be true. It is false. And that's where we get into falsy, falsy and truthy. These values right here will always be falsy. Null. Okay, there's no value at all. Null. Undefined. Well, if I declare a variable, let Bob, and then I don't assign anything to it, this will be undefined. If you're using one of the methods to, say, find a piece of HTML on a page, you're building a, a website, and you want to know if document.querySelector div returns something. Let's say there's no divs on your page. The answer you get back will be an undefined. So these are negative type things. This is nothing undefined. Well, I've got a variable, but there's nothing inside of it. Nothing's been assigned to it yet, so it's still undefined. And we can use these keywords just like we would any other value. We can say Bob equals null or Bob equals undefined. False, as you would expect, is one of the falsy values. We can also use the number zero. The number zero is a falsy value. Every other number that you can possibly think of would be considered true. An empty string, whether you're using single quotes or double quotes, doesn't really matter. Both of them are considered falsy. So looking at these statements, um, so let's say ES for an empty string, let Z equal zero, let N equal null, let u equal undefined, and we have to spell it correctly. That's an important part. Let f equal false. All right, so I have these values here, and I can put any one of them inside of here, and we will always get the false portion running. So let's say log the true part, and log false part. So every time we run this with any of these, we should see the false part. So yes, save it, we'll run it, the false part. I test it with Z. Run it. We get the false part. If I use N the false part, and so on. So I can put any of these conditions inside here. 
and say ES or Z or N or U or F. So we're saying if any of these things is true, this is the JavaScript or. So if this or this or this or this or this is true, if any of them is true, write this out, otherwise write this. There we go. Everything else. Well, there's also, sorry, not a number, which is a special case. Um, something that is not a number. And if you're testing whether something is numeric or not, there's a function called isNAN. Um, So, testing if this is not a number, this is going to come back and say true, this is not a number. So I'm going to have a true value inside of here. Um, I don't want that. I could do this. So that's just going to flip the sign. This, which is true, is going to become false to put inside there, but that's the same as this. We want to actually use the NAN, which is the representation of something that is not a number. run it once more, the false part. So anything that is not null, undefined, zero, false, empty string, empty string, or not a number, something that is not in this list is considered truthy. Or the number negative one. That's not zero, so therefore it will be true. There's the true part. So anything other than these values will be considered true inside of a while condition, a ternary operator, an if statement, or any time you're trying to evaluate an expression down to a yes-no answer. You are going to be able to use any of those as a falsy value. And that's it. Any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.